To get to the autocorrect healing tools, you press J. So you just press J in order to jump to these right here. And let's just talk about these one by one, starting with the red eye tool. So in order to use the uh, red eye removal tool, in theory, all you should have to do is click and that will get rid of the red eye. Sometimes it doesn't work that easily, so you need to click and drag and maybe do it a couple of times and then you're done and then you're done and that's all that there really is to it. You can adjust things right there, but the automatic values should work. The spot healing brush here, let's switch out images right here. The spot healing brush, uh, in theory, should be able to look and at something such as a wire and then be able to remove them automatically. While there are options that you can right click on, I suggest changing the size with just the square bracket key. So, ah, with just the square bracket key, so. Just hitting that key makes it bigger, that key makes it smaller, and with the spot healing brush, you just be able to wipe across it and it will get rid of it. If you want to have a little bit more control, so you can see it became a little bit splotchy up here, if you want a little bit more control, the healing brush gives you that. And the way the healing brush works is instead of just clicking and dragging, you hit Alt, then you click in order to sample, and then you drag, and it copies and pastes from the place that you hit Alt to the place down here. If you right-click, it's the same options that you get, and it gives you slightly more control. In general, you want to use Sampled, um, you want to uncheck Aligned, and Current and Below is almost always the right option. And that's just in case you have a color adjustment layer. It's good practice to do it that way. Next tool, the uh, Patch tool, the way that this works is you select around an area like this, you click and drag, and it copies and pastes that in. So there we go, we have it fixed right there, not a problem. Obviously, if you have a more troublesome area like this, the patch tool isn't gonna do such a good job, and nor will the others. Uh, and then right-clicking gives you, you know, pretty standard options that don't help you all that much. Content-aware uh, content move tool is a new feature inside of Photoshop CS6, and it has two main options. It's actually two tools in one. One is move, and one is extend. So with move, what you do here, let's... Uh, Let's just uh, select around this, and now if I click and drag this down here, in theory, it should set the head down here. So it takes a little bit to analyze, and then it should get rid of it up there and set it down there. Perfect. The other thing that it allows you to do is extend. So if I go to extend, I can actually just push this in this direction, and it should get rid of this bit of ear, get rid of all of that, and we're making it so the cow is just a little bit smaller right there. So going from this to this. And obviously we need to go in and adjust some of those things up there.